Alright everyone, welcome back to here. Alright, I thought I would do another Bowie build. So this is more of a a guard handle build I would I'd say really. This is a 8 inch bladed Bowie blank from Henny Haynes or however you um, pronounce it. 10 quid for this so if you want to make yourself a nice reasonably big Bowie, you know you can see the size of that, that's a decent size. 10 quid, it may be 10.45, 10.95, I can't remember, but um, yeah, for a, for a Bowie knife that big, that's really cheap. You get the the guard with it, now I'm going to take this guard off, I'm going to keep it, maybe I'll use it for a different project, if it will just tap off, supposedly it does, but some of these come with pins. Uh, so the idea today is, for a tenner, I'm going to use basically scrap to turn this into a reasonably nice looking knife, I think using some 5 mil brass to do a bigger guard that goes up at the back down at the front like a traditional bowie guard solid brass and I'm going to do an experiment in using some white chopping board HDPE to do some white handle scales as a sort of very cheap alternative to sort of um mother of pearl or whatever you know the nice white handles you can get bone handles um yeah using a bit of chopping board we'll see how that comes out so that bit of brass you know that cost me nothing that cost me nothing and i'll also if i've got enough leather which i'll look in a minute probably be making a sheath for this as well so the first thing to do get this guard off if it'll come off and then start cutting and creating the new guard. Right, let's see if this will tap off nicely. Hopefully it should. Right, it is coming off. I need a piece of wood though. I don't want to damage it. See, because then I can... use it for something else then. But there's nothing actually wrong with this guard it's just I didn't really need it we can keep this guard uh, in all honesty I'm getting quite a collection of um, guards and bolsters and handle scales so they can all be used on later projects so that it did have pins in look it had two pins in but I've managed to break them through Right, I'm going to attempt to put the bend in this now. Uh, see how it goes. It's going to damage it a little bit, but hopefully I can sort of um, 
file out all the, the bits afterwards. But it'd just be a case of tapping it and bending it. Actually, that looks right, I think. About the same bend as well. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I may have to try and flatten that bit out again now. But, yeah, should, it should work. Right, I'm going to put the scales on with these bolts. They're slightly different ones that I normally use. But, but the reason I use those, it means I don't have to glue anything. So, I'm going to try and shape the top of the scale so it fits the shape of the guard get it on as good as I can turn it over, clamp it drill through one side, drill through the other side so the next thing you should see me doing is drilling through So that's the handle scales on and that is the benefit of these bolts that I've literally used no glue but these are solid as anything so I just need to cut the bottom off cut them flush start shaping them and then try and sand this nice and smooth so it looks nice now I will be honest if you use this stuff it's quite difficult to make it look nice basically um, but you can do it I've made nice scales with this before and it's quite a comfortable because it's ever so slightly soft it's not really soft but you know it's it's slightly soft if that makes sense so yeah shape the handle now One quite nice thing with this HDPE is you can get this in loads of different colours as well. So if you wanted a green handle, red handle, blue handle, anything like that, cheap chopping board will give you loads of HDPE um, for scales. And as I say, it's quite, it's it's it can be a little bit difficult to get looking nice, but just. Take your time, keep sanding, 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 and the better quality the edge in the first place, the better it's going to be. Um, this was very rough. As you can see, that is coming up all right. And any dirt, you can get out anyway. Once this is on, you can give this a really good clean, you know, put a bit of bleach on it if you have to, and that will get that dirt that's in the grain, if there's any in it. Wouldn't show up on green anyway so much. Yeah, green HDPEs, red, loads of different colours. Right, so I'll carry on sanding this handle, uh, and then I've just got to finish off the, put a bit of a shine on the guard, really, and it's actually done. And that'll be onto the sheath. Right, there you go. Ten pound bowie knife, pretty much. Uh, three hours work, and. Uh, I personally think that's come out really good the bolts are different heads on each side but not much I could do about that with the stuff I had but yeah if you wanted to do this 10 pound blade blank there's a little bit of postage on it 
you can get a piece of brass like this for a couple of quid and again a couple of quid so even if you bought everything for this and the bolts still probably only going to cost you 15 quid really um, yeah, I'm really happy with that I think that white scales look really nice there's still a little bit of finishing to do with this because I still need to make a sheath anyway but I also need to polish the guard um, give this handle a little bit more of a clean yeah, I'm really happy with that I think that's actually really good nice decent size as well because um, I think if you're going to get a bowie knife you might as well get a big bowie knife um, this is an 8 inch blade as far as I'm aware yeah I think that's really good don't you um, and the white does look nice so the next thing I'll be doing is making a sheath for this and then I'll finish it up so I'll probably make the sheaf off camera if you want to see how to make a sheaf for this I've got dedicated videos I'll add a link in the description and a card will pop up while I'm saying that showing you how to make a sheaf um, because making sheaves are pretty much all the same it's just the shape of the blade basically that you change each time and maybe the way you hold the blade on so yeah the next thing I'll be doing is making a sheaf what you'll see next then is the completely finished knife and the finished sheath and a, and a load of pictures right don't do the video don't forget to view the rest of the video See you later. Thank <laughs> you.